Hi, my name is Mr Griffiths and I'm a science teacher. I just want to spend some time explaining how your child is going to be learning science this year. And the best way for us to start is to compare it to a traditional classroom. Traditionally, when all of the students are together in the classroom, the teacher will deliver a lecture where all of the students receive the information at the same time and at the same pace. Maybe by the end of the lesson they start to do some practice and mainly that practicing is done at home for homework. What I'm going to do is flip that around so that at home the students are going to interact with that new knowledge by themselves and then when they come into class the next day they're going to practice and deepen that knowledge often through collaborative group work and they're going to be doing the exercises and the activities to practice and deepen their knowledge. The benefit of that is that they're actually doing the easy stuff at home. Watching uh, or learning the content and taking notes is the easy part. Practicing and deepening and putting it into practice is the harder part and they can do that with the support of their colleagues and the support of their teacher in class. So for homework, the students are primarily going to be watching teacher-made videos. Some of the time they'll be, take, uh, they'll be reading, uh, reading from the textbook or, or reading from other readings, but sometimes they'll be watching videos as well. I'm going to show the students how to watch the videos and how to take notes and that's very, very important. The success of this is only going to uh, be achieved if the students make sure that they do the homework. So that's why I want to talk to you because it's so important for the students to ensure that they come to class prepared. A couple of reasons why I want to do this approach. Number one is that it encourages mastery. The idea with mastery learning is that the students work at their own pace. So the students get to learn the content at their own pace. Imagine if they're watching a video, they can pause and they can rewind and they can watch it again. So they're taking their time to watch the content. Then there'll be some questions that they'll uh, have to answer at home to demonstrate their understanding. And then, of course, in class, they have the assistance. But the idea with mastery is that periodically we'll have the students do little low stakes tests um, to, to demonstrate their mastery of the content. We find that really reduces the test anxiety, demonstrates that they can do this. And if they haven't yet got mastery, we can redirect them to extra work to fill in those gaps so that when they do come to the assessment, they're in much better shape and they feel far more confident. The other reason I want to do it is because the learning is more learner-centred. In a traditional classroom, the teacher is the centre of the class, whereas in our mastery learning, the student is the centre of the learning. So it's called learner-centred. Now, in terms of the student being the centre of their learning, it allows, us, allows learning to be individualised. Also, it allows the teacher to spend time with each and every student every lesson. So it gives us a chance to build positive relationships with students. As well as that, it gives the students some choice and control over their learning and that's very important. And finally, it means that learning is active. It's not a passive lecture, learning is active. So that means that the students are uh, actively taking notes and learning the content, answering some questions. But when they come into class, collaborative, active learning tasks to practice and deepen their knowledge. So that's how we're going to do it. And I'm, the reason I'm talking to you today is to get some help from you to encourage your child to really do the homework and make sure they do a good job of the homework. So when the students are, uh, are watching uh, a short teacher-made video as the, the lesson, I need them to put both of their headphones in, be really focused on the work, so not having any other distractions. They need to be watching the video for a short time, pausing, taking notes, and then watching some more. And they might need to watch the video a few times before they get it, and that's totally fine. 
Of course, they've got access to all of the videos all of the time, so if they ever need to go back, perhaps before an exam, it's all there for them to go back to. So really encouraging them to use the video resources whenever they get stuck, whenever they need help with, uh, with their revision or their, their homework. And, and it may well be that if they come and ask you for help, then you might want to watch the video with the student, with your child, and then you might be able to help them. Uh, many of my, my, my parents find that's very, very helpful. So when they come to the parent-teacher interview, they feel like they already know me, which is great. So um, really looking forward to working with your child this year. Uh, my students uh, think this is a wonderful way to learn, and quite simply because they're the centre of their learning. So I'd really appreciate your support to make this happen. Thank you.